creep forward just to not let me through the gap. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. Right, as per usual, no specific subject. I've got nothing in my brain. Well, I've got something in my brain, but... Yeah, I think it's sex every six seconds because I'm a man. I had the meet up at the weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a video up about the beginning of the season meet up simply because the footage is not that great, unfortunately. I've been having trouble with this camera and mic setup. It's a little bit loose and uh, crackly at the moment. So uh, some parts of that were not very good. I'll see if I can uh, put together a little something because it was a good meet-up even though I didn't really film during the meet-up I didn't film at all to be honest I was too busy chin-wagging and having coffee and uh, hanging out with my boys and girls from uh, the UK but it was a good meet-up so thank you very much for everyone that turned up for that really 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 should I put another one in there yeah let's put a big one in there really appreciate that shit now I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm going to say this guy in front of me is not one of those scooter people that goes around nicking motorcycles. What do you reckon? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you think this guy here is a criminal? Do you think he's behind all the bike thefts in London, the scooter thefts? Is he the mastermind? Is this a cunning disguise? I told you I've got nothing to think about or talk about today. Let's see if I can think of a subject just uh, off the top of my head. What should we talk about? Let's talk about... Oh, I'll tell you what I'll talk about. While I'm here, I might as well talk about all-inclusive holidays, because I've just been on one. I've been on all-inclusive before, and they're fine. They are fine. They are exactly what they say on the tin. All-inclusive. Bit of food, bit of drink. Now, you've got to drink local drinks. You can't drink premium drinks unless you go on one of those all-inclusive that costs a lot of money. Then you can get your Jack Daniels, Bacardi's and stuff like that. But usually you just drink the local brands that uh, are supplied to the hotels. And normally that's fine if you haven't got a specific brand. I mean, I like Jack Daniels, but I'm never going to get that with the money I pay for an all-inclusive. So I stick to usually rum or brandy with Coke, of course. I can't drink that on its own. That's weird, especially when it's cheap shit it burn your throat but the one I just came from Cape Verde it was like Benidorm in Africa it was bizarre I've never seen people where their ambition is just to get drunk and eat food I haven't seen it before I mean yeah we all like a drink and we all like to eat but not to the level where you're trying to claim your money's worth or more at 10 o'clock in the morning it's bizarre as I said in my video, Cape Verde, there was that woman, 9.45, 10 o'clock in the morning, ordering a cranberry and vodka and a gin and tonic. And when I looked at my watch, she sort of like scowled at me and said, I'm on holiday, you know. And I went, yeah, where from? The Priory. Which didn't go down too well, but that's the sense of humour I own, unfortunately. Now, normally when you go on holiday, people put towels down on the sunbeds to get the best spots by the pool for the sunshine, to get a suntan. Uh, if they've got kids, they like to be by the kiddie section. If they haven't got kids, some of them like to be by the kiddie section, but then they should be taken out and shot in the face. But the point is, these people, these guys and girls, were putting towels down for the sunbeds nearest the bar. Nearest the bar! They were actually red when they got there. You know the alcoholics you get in the pub? You go in every pub and there's that group of regulars that are there all the time, and they've got red faces and they're just there getting drunk all the time. Basically alcoholics, as I said that's what the result was well that's what the pool was where I was staying there was a group of people hanging around outside the bar basically waiting for it to open like desperados and what they would do is drink and drink and drink until they're drunk which is probably about one to two o'clock in the afternoon and then just lay on a sun lounger and get burnt that was their day there was more beer bellies around the pool than palm trees basically it was like a diabetics convention i mean there was a girl on the last day she was sitting next to us a big girl and she was boasting about how much prosecco she had the night before she said about six bottles and lots of cocktails as well she's screaming across the pool at her friend go and get my fags go and get my fags which is annoying in itself by the pool if you smoke for those of us that don't smoke stop flicking your ash anywhere near us and if the wind's blowing our way yes we have to smell it so 
took off. Anyway, back to this girl. So she was telling us, or not telling us, telling someone else this story of how she was so drunk the night before. And then she gets out a kit to test her blood sugar levels because she's diabetic. I mean, pff, any clues why she's diabetic? She was only about 25, I reckon, maybe even less, maybe 21, 22. And it's a sad world when you're that age and you're diabetic because I would guarantee that you weren't born diabetic. And uh, looking at the poor girl, I would say, I don't know why I'm saying poor girl, <laughs> looking at the girl, I would say it's purely self-inflicted. Anyway, there's not really a lot I could talk about. I told you I was going to ramble on and didn't really have a subject. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to bid you farewell. You know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get